This is sort of how ridiculous it sort of gets. You're already under your own surveillance. That's what a mirror is. You know that? It's called a natural. It's called a natural mirror. The spirit in the mirror, the eternal spirit in the mirror, the eternal love, which is the eternal spirit that is in the mirror, is a camera eye, a holographic camera eye. So now we're talking about gate speeds, right? The speed of the gate, the speed of your mind, the speed of your soul, the speed of your spirit. So you're watching yourself go through the gate. <laughs> Because you're experiencing what's on the other side of it. Including what's on this side of it. The mirror. The gate mirror. So I was thinking of NSA and I and, and because their 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 mind, which is a unit of energy, which is consciousness, which is self awareness, right? Is choosing to put its own self under its own surveillance. <laughs> Because their energy is the energy that's using to build it and put themselves under that surveillance system. Because they know there's somebody else within that surveillance system that has access to the same data they do. Which means they have access to the data that is represented by that other SA agent Smith. Right? So that means all the agent Smiths are under surveillance by the architect to put it together by virtue of the assets that were used through the codes in which to do what? Gestalt it. The gestalt consciousness of building prisons. Building prisons of its own mind. That's the black hole that they built. That's the one that they live in. They built it. Now we're into getting them out of their own black holes. So then you could say, well, listen, don't impose your will on somebody who's living in a black hole. They have a right to live in a black hole, don't they? It, remember, we're back to free will. Now we're back to the First Amendment. Tucker Carlson, he just did a blurb last night on the First Amendment. Remember, the First Amendment, the United States Constitution, says free speech. I can communicate whatever I want. That's free will. Right. You can say whatever you want, right? Communicate whatever you want in symbols, right? So, see if I can find this symbol. There we go. That symbol. Now, if I show that, to a gazillion people, would they know what that is? That's a circle with a dot in the middle. That's called equal distance. Equal distance from the center point out to every side. That means the center point where that fire started, that means everything inside that circle is getting warm, getting heat, huh? thermal gradients, right? Need some coolant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool colors. Frequency vibration. That's a character. That's a character map. Mapping eyeballs. Mapping system design. Mapping the terrain. Mapping the geographical user interface. The user interface. The user of the software is mapping the consciousness terrain which is the environment that we find ourselves when we come through the gate. What's going on here? I don't think you want to know. Really? Well, I was thinking of this because I put a comment up there for um, the Emerald Covenant. Um, I believe it was an episode called The Holy Grail Quest when Asha Dayan was talking about well, this is sort of what I presented to her, uh, but I made a few comments there about what we call the speed of learning. Okay. So, you know, an energy binding device that keeps consciousness running at a particular harmonic, like a 55 black hole, right? 
Uh, you're not going to be learning very fast, are you? Because you're not catching up to zero, which means you're not experiencing what love is. Right? And so now we're back to risk. Now we're back to risk perception. Now we're back to vibration perception. So when you're experiencing what love is, it's on fire to create spheres and lines of communication, playing music. Now others are experiencing what we're experiencing. So when we're experiencing what love is, they're experiencing what we are from whence it all began, which is the center point of that cross, which is a blast furnace, which is eternal fire. That's an eternal spirit. It's on fire. So you can't ever put that fire out. Or you don't have any light left. Living in darkness. Can't see yourself. Right? Can't see what you're creating. You gotta have all the colors, right? And uh, so one of the things that I mentioned had to do with learning speed, torque speed converter converter. You know, uh, and this is particularly true when when you get into DNA strands. Or, or if you will, the, the capacity in an avatar, if you will, to hold a given amount of energy at any one given moment of now time. You know, like how much energy does it take to run one of these? Right? Based on the strands of the DNA, which is represented by the instruction sets that are coded into that DNA, right? The assembly. The assembly instruction. What to build. Now it grows. Hey, now I see myself in the mirror. Wow. Wow. Hey, I grew to become what this is on the visible light spectrum. Right? So now you're back to shields. Now you're back to decay. Now you're back to radio wave form harmonics. Right? And the speed at which, which is anti-aging, if you will, or the metabolites, the speed at which we are aging, which is the start speed differential between the use of an electron and the waste product of an electron, or the ability to get rid of it fast, like no time. Wow. So that's pure pre-matter phase consciousness. So it's not experiencing anything less than what that is. That's exactly right. That's why when I was experiencing being a little kid, you want to give away all the matter codes, get rid of the mass, as fast as you can, so it's your so it's your mass less, less mass, more speed, or if you will, no mass, ultimate speed. All right. So I'm not experiencing any what decay in the shield. Yep. <laughs>